let's learn how to install and run this awesome Sandstorm Photoshop action in this super simple tutorial. Start by coming to the Envato Elements Marketplace, make sure you have an account, and locate the Sandstorm Photoshop action. I have left the link in the description so you can go straight there. Once you've located it, click download. If using this for commercial purposes, make sure you create a project and assign it a license. If just for personal, you can download without a license. So either assign or don't assign a license and click download. Locate the downloaded zip file, so mine's in my plugins folder, and then simply double click it to unzip the folder. Make note of the version of Photoshop you're using. So for me, this will be CC 2018 and above, and there's only one file we need to install. So make a note of where this location is, and then go into Photoshop. So come into Photoshop, I'm going to File, Open. Locate the image you're going to apply the action to in the Finder. So mine's in my Images folder, and click Open. Make sure the image is one layer, so it should open with a locked background layer. Next, go to Window, Actions. Click the icon on the top right of the panel and come to load actions. So locate the folder you downloaded. So remember mine was in my plugins folder. So come to plugins. Remember you've already unzipped and opened the folder. So click the folder, select the version you're in. So mine is CC 2018 and above, and then simply click the action and press open to install it. And now you'll see Sandstorm added to your actions panel. So let's click off. Now let's prepare the image to apply the action to. Create a new layer, come to the brush tool, Select a soft round brush. Make sure your foreground color is something contrasting. So I'm just gonna go with black. And then you can use close brackets, open brackets to make the brush larger or smaller. You're now going to paint over the area you want to apply the action to. You don't have to be too precious with this. You can be quite loose. So I'm gonna do this very quickly as you can see. So I'll apply it to the lower leg. I'll cover this leg as well. And we'll come up the side and across the arm and we'll leave the face as it is. So the action now will apply to this area here. Once you've applied your brush layer, you will need to rename this layer brush so that the action will work. So select it, double click it, and simply call it brush, then click off. Now go to Window, Actions, locate Sandstorm in your Actions panel, open the folder, and you can choose the direction in which the effect will travel. So I'm gonna do from the right, so the effect will start here and move to the right hand side. From there, simply click play. This action can take several minutes to run and it does require a decent level of processor speed and RAM memory. So bear that in mind, give the action patience to run and once finished, all the layers will be generated on the right hand side. So click play and wait. And there you go, the action is complete. So let's collapse the actions panel, command zero to full screen this. And if you come into your layers panel now, you can see the various components of this action. So the main part is the color folder. You can toggle on or off the different adjustment layers. And the nice thing about this action is it does give you multiple color options. So you can turn off color option one, and you can try different options like color option two, color option three, and so on and so forth. If you go below the color options then, you can see all the individual layers, the clouds, the particles, and all of these can be toggled on or off and manipulated accordingly using Photoshop's tools. And there you have it. It's that simple to install and run this super awesome sandstorm effect in Photoshop and then customize it accordingly in the layers panel once it's been run. And you can apply this to any image you like, so long as you create that brush layer you highlight the area you want to apply the effect to, and then you call the layer brush and then run the action on top of that layer. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. And I will see you for the next tutorial.